let's talk about the core teaching of unique self. Unique self is the understanding that you are at the level of essence, not merely at the level of social, psychological, and cultural conditioning, but at the level of essence, you are ultimately unique. You are an infinitely unique expression of all that is. You are an expression that never was, is, or will be ever again. And that uniqueness of essence is your unique self. 13.7 billion years of evolution conspired in an infinite number of configurations to yield the precision the gorgeousness, the grandeur of your unique self. And unique self lives at every level. Check your biology, the unique cellular signature. Take a picture of your immune system. You think that you're standing next to someone and you're different only in your exterior, but actually your immune system and actually your entire biological signature is a radical, wild, ecstatic expression of uniqueness. Uniqueness lives at the biological level. Uniqueness lives absolutely at the social, cultural, psychological level, how you're affected and defined by your interaction with the world at large, what we call the world of form. But unique self is more than that. Unique self is the unique expression of your essence. It's your unique perspective. It's the unique perspective of your enlightenment. Your enlightenment has a perspective. Your classical enlightenment, meaning your realization that you're one with the all, is not that which makes you into an absorbed oneness, which is undifferentiated. Even as you become and realize the truth that you are a true self, that you are what Theravadan Buddhists called no self, meaning you're beyond, your essential identity is beyond ego beyond your separate self. Even as you realize the profound emptiness of your being, and I mean emptiness here, not in a Western sense, but in a spiritual sense, meaning you're empty of anything which is not full. So you're profoundly full of your essence, and your essence is that you are one with all that is. And you realize that the illusion that you are separate, the illusion that you're a skin encapsulated ego, is actually incorrect. You realize your essential identity as one with all that is, your uniqueness doesn't disappear, quite the contrary. You realize that you're a unique expression of all that is. You realize that your true self sees with a unique set of eyes, that not only is your manifest self, not only is your this world self unique, but your unmanifest self is also unique. You're unique at every level of your being and becoming. You're unique at the level of body. You're unique at the level of soul and you're unique at the level of spirit. There is no expression of you which is not a particularized expression of essence, an individualized crying out of the mind of God. Wow, that's an incredible understanding. It changes everything. And it's not a dogmatic understanding. It's one that emerges from what we call a realization, meaning a deep deployment of the eye of the spirit, which is the faculty of perception that takes us into the interior spaces of reality. A deep perception of the eye of the spirit awakens you to your unique self, awakens you to a realization of your infinite specialness, your infinite uniqueness, and your unique self enlightenment is to be able to live that uniqueness fully in the world. In any attempt to be an imitation, any attempt to escape your originality is the seduction of the ego, of the isolated, separated, alienated self struggling to imitate in order to somehow get by. But the actual source of your creativity is your originality. The source of your joy 
right, is that which emerges from the complete delight in living your unique story, your unique self. So the invitation of a full-bodied enlightenment, of a full-hearted enlightenment, of a full-souled, full-spirited enlightenment is to incarnate, to inhabit your unique self. Because ultimately, your unique self is God having a you experience. My name is Mark. God having a Mark experience is what happens when I'm living my unique self, when I'm caught in ego, when I'm imitating, right? when I'm in contraction, right? when my coiled small self right, struggling to survive overtakes me, then my unique self gets distorted, it gets occluded. But when I inhabit the full gorgeousness of the unique expression of all that is, of the unique expression of source that lives in me, as me, and through me, then I awaken to the fullness of my power, to the fullness of my joy, to the fullness of my mind, my heart, my sensuality, my creativity. That is the invitation of unique self-enlightenment.